Hello. Today we'll show you how to view your student scores and monitor their progress. First, choose reports. On the left, you'll see the reports broken into a few categories. The most important are those under student information, practice, test, and course results. We won't be looking at all the reports today. There are simply too many. We'll just focus on some of the most important. Let's look at the overall summary. This gives you a snapshot of a student's progress, including all their practice, test and course results. We've selected a single student and then a period of time. In this case, the last 14 days. When I run the report, the preview window appears. If things are a little small, you can easily zoom in. You can see on this report that it summarizes practice results by topic and then lists the test and course scores underneath. It's very common to run this report at the end of a semester. At the top left of the preview window, there are some important buttons. Firstly, you can print the report. You can also export the report as a PDF. This is very useful for providing feedback to parents. It's really easy to isolate a single student's results and then email this to the parent. And lastly, you can export your report as a CSV file. This is simply a text spreadsheet. When exported, you can then view or graph the results in any spreadsheet program. Before we look at any more reports, it's important that you have a clear understanding of the scoring system, particularly detailed scoring. Topics with longer questions, such as beaming or chord progressions, include detailed scoring. This gives students partial credit when a question is not 100% correct. It's much more encouraging for students and gives teachers a far more comprehensive set of scores to review. Note that we do show both scoring methods on all the reports, with the detail score on the far right, where it's easier to find. Let's now look at a detailed practice report. This report shows us practice results broken down by syllabus, topic and level. You'll notice that the filters offered here are very comprehensive. You can filter by student or class, syllabus, topic, date range, and also percentage. These percentage filters are very handy. They make it very easy to identify students that are struggling or excelling. You can then provide them with the most appropriate support or guidance. Let's look at the report. In the tests group, you can choose to view test and worksheet results in great detail, or you can opt for a more general overview. The entry scores is the most detailed report, and once again, you can look at results for all your students, a single class, or a single student. Most of the other filters are also active on this page. The most important test report is final scores, which gives you the grade that each student achieved. This report also displays students who haven't completed the test. If a test has multiple attempts, then you can choose to view those scores in a number of different ways. You can choose the last, best, worst, all combined, or a specific attempt result. That completes our video tutorial on viewing reports. Please explore the other reports. They provide information on syllabus content, student enrollment, course scores, activity logs, and much more. Thanks for watching.